All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, another pit bike video. Putting tennis balls on the tire, hopefully. Similar to uh, when I did the video with the tennis balls in the tire as if it was a tube. Now we're kind of doing it reverse with the tennis balls acting as the tire. So get them all out of here, cut them out. Probably just gonna use a razor blade and cut them all out. And from there, duct tape the whole rim and the outer edge along the inside to then bond the tennis balls to that. That way, maybe I'll be able to rip it off in one pull if they stay on, if they don't fly off while I'm riding it. But I think with the epoxy that I got, I think they'll stay on. We'll see. Here we have all the supplies. We got the tennis balls and we got three different things of epoxy along with this kind of spray adhesive I might try and use to get the initial like to tack them onto the wheel. If you didn't see the rubber band video, I'll leave a link below or up in the corner here if you wanna check that out. It was pretty funny. Destroyed this pit bike. What's new? This thing just gets beat. This stuff supposedly bonds in five minutes and sets in about, cures in an hour. So we'll see how that is. If you have not gotten your entries in to win the CR125, every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing. The link's down below in the top of the description to my website. You can get the key tags, the new shirts, the brand new color shift holographic clap stickers that just came out. Better example of the key tags I have. If you haven't gotten a GoPro mount yet, I also offer these. Oh my got the black one. Now I have the orange one on the website. So if you wanted a GoPro mount, now's the time to get it. These are the best GoPro mounts you could like ever have. I use it in every single video. So let's cut all these out. They're gonna like fling everywhere. This is gonna make a mess. Really don't want to have to take off the wheel to get the rubber bands out. So the 18 tennis balls should be enough. I couldn't remember how many I needed before to go inside the tire, but should do the job. Basically all I plan to do is just kind of, might actually not touch the tape unless I tape around the edge. Just glue them on like so. Anybody that thinks I'm serious trying to do this, these are just kind of funny. It's just something different to try and do, I don't know. I guess the first step here would be to duct tape it. We've used duct tape in almost all the tire videos it seems like for the most part. It's just necessary for everyone it seems like. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick up on it but as you can see, there's kind of a little gap underneath there. I'm not sure if I should try and fill that with epoxy or like push it down and try and like morph it to the wheel. But I feel like if I try and do that, they're not gonna stick. Before I mix the epoxy up, try and just spray a little piece on, see if it'll stick, see if it'll stay on just with this. I guess we'll leave that, let it sit, only 10 minutes, tack up, and then just put them all on there. All right, so I'm impatient. I use the hair dryer to kind of speed it up. So it's pretty tacky enough where they're gonna stay on at this point, I think. And then we'll epoxy around it. We'll go one by one. Unfortunately, there were no YouTube how-tos on this. So I guess I'm the first guy. I think I should have bought more epoxy. That's for sure. Should be pretty cool if it works though, which I think it will. If I'm able to, once it dries a little bit, I might try and fill in this little gap with hot glue that might help like that little extra bit if I can find the hot glue guns. So with the help of a little bit of hot glue over here with the hot glue gun, that actually kind of secured them all in place. That way while they're drying and the epoxy is drying, this is just holding them all together. So, I mean, for what it is, they're pretty sturdy with them just being on there for like five minutes. So I'm gonna try and do them all with the hot glue, get them set and then come through with the epoxy and kind of lock them in hopefully. They're gonna have a little bit of flex because they're kind of that felt, but I think they'll hold on. Not that all the Drift Quad uh, ones lasted too long either. So if we can beat five minutes, I'd be happy. Before we get any further, if you guys are new and you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up. Let's try and get like 5,000 likes on this video if you wanna see me continue to do more stupid tire videos. Leave me some recommendations in the comments. Um, if you haven't seen any of the Drift Quad ones, you can search this Drift Quad on the channel and you can see where this has sparked from with the countless Drift Quad tire videos that we've done, which has been pretty funny. So. Here's a little over halfway update. All of them are hanging on. The hot glue came in clutch because if I didn't have that, it would have sucked and I would have had to wait like 
six hours for it to fully, fully set, I feel like. So the little craft kit when I was 12 came in handy. Probably up there with one of the dumbest videos I've made for sure. Topping probably the tin foil one with the drift quad. The moment of truth, here's the finished tire. I had to kind of rig it because I couldn't fit an extra ball in between that little gap, so we got some bottle caps in there. Doesn't matter, it should be okay. This thing looks ridiculous, it looks so funny. Take a look at it and it just doesn't make sense. Glue gun came in handy, that's for sure. Gotta at least get it outside first. Well, here's the first look on the ground. They're not compressing too bad, to be honest. I thought they would a little bit more. Here's a better side view of the thing. It actually looks pretty cool, to be honest. Way better than the, the rubber bands looked. Looks pretty legit, if you ask me. Warm the thing up. I even had two tennis balls to spare. It's like a snake now. <laughs> I really thought that was gonna last longer. That was pathetic. What are we gonna do now? I could try. And Too bad we didn't save that. Surprise! You said you have another rim for that thing, these right? Stayed bonded. You know. You said you have another rim for this thing, right? Kinda. I don't know. I could try and like re put them on there, maybe. No, we don't you know, have another hour. No, they came let it off. And... I should have just. I don't know what I should I couldn't think of any other idea to actually bond it other than the epoxy and stuff. I, you know, I'm not going to screw them in. I'm not going to, what else could I even do? And they're the, like the felt material is just going to rip as it did like a couple of times here. But well, maybe I'll throw this in an order. If you, uh, <laughs> maybe I'll throw it in an order. The, you uh, want the our garbage? <laughs> no, probably not. But damn. That sucks. I really thought it was going to last. Oh, that messed up the grass. That kind of I think it's that. time to do a big burnout in the street with the a rim. Big burnout on the rim. I don't think that's really gonna do anything. I Except make your viewers longer. happy. I should have done the flyby on the road. 
full speed. But I probably would have, I probably would have eaten it because no brakes and uh, rim on pavement. So. So 500 likes on this video. 500 and, likes, uh, we'll do it again, and I'll go full speed down the road. And no. So. I was gonna say uh, do proper maintenance and make this thing work. <laughs> yeah, everybody's been saying uh, to get this thing going. It is gonna get going in the next like probably two weeks. So I'm trying to find blue wheels for this thing so I can relay some new hub up to the wheel. So along with next week, uh, the pit bike track is getting a full makeover. We're getting some stuff delivered. So uh, stay on the luck. I'll probably Tuesday or Wednesday the whole thing. I'll have all the build videos up and the transformation of actually building a legit track this time. So I guess let me know what else you guys want to see as far as pit bike wheels that'll actually last longer than what? A minute and a, a half. Minute. I mean, I guess compared to the drift quad one, some of them that didn't like the spray foam lasted less time than that. And with that, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you haven't gotten your entries in to win the CR125, every $5 spent gives you one entry. Links down below. Give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, if you want to see what's going down. And uh, I guess we'll end this off here.